Good evening, explorers. Good evening. We're in Belfast, Northern Ireland today. Yep. We've been here for one night already. It yes. is an amazing city. We've been staying in this beautiful, lovely Airbnb. We actually are on the flat on the third floor. On the third floor. And we have a balcony so we can see uh, Belfast from there. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. It's been affordable and it actually put us just outside of a you know transportation zone so we can just hop right into the city if we need. Yeah it's like a two minute walk down to the bus stop. Mm -hmm. um, this is a two bedroom two bathroom Airbnb so we were able to spread out. Um, it has a washer and dryer, it has a fridge, a dishwasher, all that stuff so it's very uh, modern for being Europe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah well you'll see all that in the video. All right, well, let's go show them. Let's go show them around. One thing I never knew about the United Kingdom is that their door handles are in the center of the door. So, pretty interesting. We have a lock that we have to get in and this brings us into the middle of the apartment complex. So, it's not on the inside but it is on the center on the outside. And then climb these stairs. And then as you can see we're in room six and the door handle is in the center of the door again. And you need a key to get in. Come on in, we're on apartment six. All right, so you're greeted with the foyer here. There is a little closet that has a couple of things that you might need. Over here, you have this little area where you can put all your stuff, as you can see. Keys and glasses we have here. But also, the owner provides you with a manual on how to use everything in the house, which is good because um, if you're from America, their washers and dryers, their, their <laughs> stoves, everything is so completely different. So that's a smart idea because then I don't have to text him every time I need to know how to use something. Okay, so this would be the kids' bedroom. It has this little desk. It has a computer monitor and a keyboard, but no computer. If you bring your laptop, there's wires here, and you can connect your computer right to it. Yeah, I think it's just intended to be a workstation. Yeah. So over here, you have a dresser. Then here, it, they put a trundle bed in here. So if you have one person, you can just have that. But if you have two kids, you pull the bed out. Now you have enough for two people to sleep here. This room has some amazing views. All the mountains, Irish countrysides are so pretty. He has decorated this room in kind of a male sports theme. So there's pictures of Muhammad Ali, Tiger Woods, and Michael Jordan. All right, so I'm gonna take you into the first bathroom. This place has two, which is great when you're traveling with four people. All right, so it's got this little thing here that turns on the light. You have a toilet, you have a sink, you have this deep shower. You can take a bath in here if you want. There is a mirror here because they put there's windows where the sink is. So in case you needed a mirror, they still have a mirror in here. We did have one issue though when you're actually showering, it's, it's gonna fog up. Yeah. Oh, and they put this little caddy here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. You can put your phone there if you need to. Again, with the Irish bathrooms, no plug. And uh, a lot of times they've added this is you turn this on and it turns on the bathroom fan. That helps alleviate some of the steam. Yeah, because it gets really foggy in here. All right, let's go to the next bedroom. Now on to the master bedroom. This actually has the boiler in the closet here. Being from Florida, we don't have this type of heat, but I think it all has to do with uh, hot water because you can hear the water running through it. But it's in the closet here and he's leave he left you a manual. I figured it out, really easy to do. Read the instructions. This is just for hot water. You turn it over here, it turns on the um, radiator, and now you have heat and hot water. Pretty cool. And it's a, a gas boiler, so. There's a little chair here in case you wanna sit. You sit here, you have these beautiful views. Again, with the Irish countryside. Queen size bed, two end tables, two lamps, perfect. Got a little light in the center. Over here is a closet. 
then the bathroom's in here. This is the master bathroom. It's a skinny bathroom, kind of long, you know, but it's got a toilet, a sink, again with the window. They did put a mirror here and they have this little mirror for makeup. And then you have a step-in shower. Now we're gonna walk across the foyer again and into the dining room, living room, kitchen. This is a nice space and he has utilized it very well so that there's enough room for everything. Over here, you have the kitchen. This right here, and everything's hidden too. So I wasn't quite sure, but you have your washer and dryer combo, which is very popular in Europe, because there's not a lot of space everywhere you go. But it's our first dishwasher. You have a nice little dishwasher. You have a sink, and I've noticed that a lot of the kitchens are built like this with the uh, drain board on the countertop. So pretty neat. Uh, again, the switches over here with the stove. Again, turn on the switch. Nice cabinet space so you can put all your goodies in there. There was a couple things that were already here. You do have a toaster and a kettle, of course, because we are in Ireland and they drink a lot of tea. And you have all your pots and pans. Now, check out where the refrigerator is. This looks really nice. I like it. Pretty big fridge. It's actually attached to the cabinet. This was the same size fridge of the last Airbnb almost, but this one has a freezer too. And over here we have garbage, recyclables, and up here we actually have some compost. You get to be green while you're here. Over here, nice little, we have a lot of stuff on the table right now, but nice little four seats so you can all sit down and have dinner. Okay, so now let's walk into the living room. You have what would be a two-seater or three-seater couch, and then another two-seater over here. A nice little coffee table. Got a little chair over here. Again, you could sit here and read a book and just look out the window and just admire this beautiful surroundings we are. This is the one reason why we ended up renting it though. Check out that view. We have a balcony. So he's put two chairs and a little table out here, but you get this magnificent view again, just, just views of this apartment. It's not 360 because there's someone on that side. So there is a nice big flat screen television. The kids have been watching Northern Ireland television and they've just been loving it. And we've been watching the commercials and they're kind of like in America, ours, but just a little different. <laughs> so, but he has more satirical. <laughs> yeah, some of them have been funny. And this morning, we actually there was a guy on the one show, and he was signing for the hearing impaired, which was really cool too. The owner has decorated with a few pieces of art, and he's also kind of put little knickknacks and cactus and all that. It's very subtle, but it brings the whole room together, and it's it's really comfortable to just sit in here and watch television, or like I said, sit on one of these couches and just look out the window. Plus. Today it's 61 degrees, which is hilarious for us Floridians because normally that's cold. But today it's really hot for us. We've actually been conditioned because we've been here for four days in freezing weather. So 61 degrees, we're down to t-shirts. Yep. But this is the apartment here in Belfast. Okay, explorers, I think this is where we're going to leave you. We hope you enjoyed our tour of this little Airbnb in Belfast. Yes, it's located in the suburbs of uh, Belfast, but what is nice about being in this area is that it's quiet. You don't get all those city noises. You just get beautiful bird sounds. So, um, and we were so close to a bus stop, so it only took us like 10 minutes to get into the actual major city area. Yes, and we said, and when we said in our other video, make sure you get a day pass if you tend to keep scooting in and out of town. Yeah, because it was like five pounds uh, for the whole day. So yeah, it was per perfect. person. Yep. And we'll leave the link below in case you're interested in booking it. Yeah. So, as always, thank you for coming along with us. Keep exploring. And we'll see you in Derry. Okay, explorers, I think this is where we're going to leave you. Sorry. Okay, explorers, Nicole's nose is starting to itch. <laughs> I was going by Trundle at the time. Oh, that, yeah, there it is, Trundle, written in blood. Oh, yeah, I was going by Trundle at the time, wasn't no, I? No, 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 you were trying to write Charlie, and you wrote Trundle. No, I was going by Trundle the Great. Two, uh, queen-size bed. What are these called? Endings. Yeah. Queen.